Now I'm 2024 and now I am here. We have found a little bit of the green grass of England based in America on the St. Louis music stand. So we're looking at Alvarez guitars here. Chris, I've known for a few years now. A few years now. Um, and he is uh, still wonderfully English, despite working with these American northern. people. Yes, yeah, very northern. <laughs> um, anyway, Alvarez, lots of new stuff. Lots of new stuff, so, yeah. Let's talk about it. So, brand new series for us, launching uh, this show. It's called Laureate. It's a traditional series, so the big decision was, should we put our bi-level bridge on if we're making a traditional series? Okay. So we decided not to, and we designed this bridge, did many, many versions, so it looks like nothing and everything at the same time. And um, being traditional, you know, we always be uh, pre-war shapes. We won't do grand auditoriums or armrests right. or anything like that. So we're designing new molds like triple O 12 frets, interesting stuff. Maybe bring some cutaways into some traditional shapes. The biggest thing about this is, um, Everything is hand selected, so it's like more like a bench-made approach to our production guitars. So all the bracing is selected from thousands of pieces of Sitka. It's all quarter sawn, so the the uh, grain runs very straight. All the maple is chosen by hand. The kerfing, if it has any discoloration, is discarded. Even the side braces are matched to the backs of the sides. So try and bring a bit of uh, luthery into our production guitars. Was that, has that been a, a, a challenge at a staff level? Because you've presumably, you've really had to upskill staff to be able to even understand how would you choose one piece of wood to go with another? So we can set specs on the choosing, but we have, so this guitar goes through our standard woodworking, and then when it gets into finish, or sanding and finish, it goes down a different, smaller production line. Right. So it goes to some more grits and more sanding processes, yeah. And then the finishing is done by team leaders. Yeah. So we get a great finish. The finish is thinner. And if you look at that, it's completely clear. Yeah. And man, I'm telling you, that is really hard to do. <laughs> there is no intercode scratching. So you, all the levels of paint that you put on a the guitar, then you have to sand it off, put it on, sand it off, and build that up. You can walk around many places here and you'll see scratches in that finish. And that's I mean, clear. I am a huge sucker for this style of guitar. Yeah. But if you want a decent American one of these, you're pining with 3,500, 4,000 plus. Correct. So it, it is amazing to see, uh, you know, Alvarez coming out of a Far Eastern factory achieving anything like this kind of level of quality, because I'm guessing I'm paying like a third of the price or something for this, aren't I? Yeah, so in the States, they, they map it around $1,400. Everything is three or four A Sitka, whatever we can get. You know, it's perfectly quartered. Is this an ebony board? It's an ebony board, this, ebony bridge, ebony. This is like this is the, like old violin. The ebony style. of old. Yeah, well, where there's like there's no grain, you can barely even see it's a real wood product. It almost looks synthetic. It's so dark. So we have but, this for years. So hopefully we we can find black ebony. I mean, obviously, mm. many people use. Ebony with cream stripes in, and that's yeah. totally fine. To be yeah. honest, it's absolutely fine. But we ha we've had this for many. We had about 800 sets that we had for about 10 years, and it's an ebony headstock fascia. And then we chose blue abalone just because it's different. And we thought, again, like a luthier would choose yeah. something different. So are you doing this with the mahogany back and sides, or just the rosewood back and sides? So we've okay. only come out with six models. Okay. To try and like just launch it. So we got an OM. So this is a, this this burst we call Daybreak, and it's just like a, a vintage, very light tint. Yeah. So when you compare it to a natural, there's not a great deal of difference. And as I was saying to you earlier, we've sold much more Daybreak than than, than we have of natural. It's funny that I mean I, I'm trying to put my hat on as like, what would I buy? Yeah. And although, like, that's probably slightly more eye-catching. Yeah. I still think I would want. Great. Oh, but only because, you know, I know, look, I know we're skirting around the what brand are we really talking about yeah. that are famous for making these kind of guitars. Yeah. But if that's what you want, that's the colour you want. Correct. So... I, I think, you know, these things have got a, a vintage vibe. It's a bit tint. Yeah. But we just, you know, it, it so gets darker towards the edge. So when you said six models, you mean three shapes in two colours? Yeah, so we've got, exactly. That is cute, isn't it? That is so cute. 
So it was a parlor, an OM, and uh, a and dreadnought. And it's a 12th fret neck yeah. joint as well. I bet that is amazing to, to play. Anyway, we will hear those we will hear. shortly. All of them are fitted with the new LR Bags Hi-Fi system. So that, that's, have you seen that? So no, there's like, I haven't. So it, it's not an undersaddle, it's two transducer pickups oh, on the uh, bridge plate and they're housed in like these plastic housings and the transducers float. Yeah. So feedback's cool, you don't get any quack, all that yeah. Yeah. horrible synthetic yeah. noise is gone. Lloyd's done a great job on this. So that's Laureate. I mean, they're beautiful. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you very they much. Are very, very pretty. Obviously, Masterworks we know, but there's been some upgrades, I think, haven't there? So Masterworks again, we kind of uh, because we're close with LR bags, they were changing their Stage Pro and the, bringing out the Hi-Fi system. So we thought, well, we would have to re-photograph everything with new EQs. Right. Let's make all the changes. <laughs> so we we brought in the new EQs, then we brought in new features, new models new model numbers because there's a guy in England who owns a music shop Mate. make takes the, makes fun you should have seen. makes fun <laughs> we we were on the Ibanez stand yes uh, earlier today and and it, I actually think they're leaning into it to just piss me off even more some some of the skews have got like 15 <laughs> characters in the we it's were just mental we, we were heading that way so we've changed that and you can read them, you can actually understand, maybe even remember them. So that's what all I want to say, it's an MD70C custom. That's it. That's fine. Yeah. That's acceptable. Yeah. Um, which which, which <laughs> digit-wise is actually longer, but it makes sense. <laughs> so which is a good one to show what the upgrades are? So this is a custom, so the custom is our fully loaded guitar. It's got Avalon uh, Purfling, 3A Sitka top. This one's Rosewood. It's got a, it's got a slim ebony bevel and it's also got a back bevel. So we just take the edge off the back. You've never done a back bevel before. We've never you? done a back bevel yeah. before. That's interesting. So what it just that's a comfort thing, is it, as it's sort of close to your body? It's, um, it's comfort. It's like some years ago, we, we thought about taking all the points off, like this one, this one, and, and on the bottom here on your leg. Mm -hmm. And then actually Sarah said, you couldn't make it more comfortable for, uh, for us girl players. Oh, okay. you, so I said, yeah, we'll just take that off. So, it's, so we've got a back bevel. So this is fully loaded, uh, all bells and whistles again, it's got Hi-Fi, which is like a $200 system. And it's, nice. um, we call it custom and available in mahogany as well. That's pretty, isn't it? I do, you, honestly. You are partial to a 12 fret, Lee. Well, you, you know, I just like anything that looks old. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably myself included, obviously. <laughs> Having to come to terms with it as every year goes by. But no, I just think you do a great job of, of um, so, that kind of vibe. So when we upgraded the finish, like two years ago, the factory made me a guitar and I looked at it and I thought, how on earth did they make this? The finish was so good. So we've spent like the last year upgrading all our sanding processes, etc. So Masterworks and Laureate has a new, thinner, flatter, clearer finish. I should just hold that for Taylor. Yeah. No, the, the gloss on these is phenomenal, isn't it? But okay. So again, everything's got Hi-Fi and Masterworks. We've got our, our MD60s are now called MD, or the BGs are now called Herringbones. Again, because we changed the pickup, we changed the finish. So we, we changed the, the uh, model number slightly. You've been selling these for some years. I mean, again, if you wanted an HD28, yeah. it's like small mortgage time, isn't it? Yeah. And you can get a really, really good, you know, replica very of that Very open, style of very responsive instruments. Yeah.
then Artist Delete, which has been around for like six years, yeah. we added a bass. So our Artist Delete is, is more of an electroacoustic player, you know, gigging type guitar, right? Yeah. A bit more modern. A bit more, bit more the, the, the woods are a bit more um, exotic. You know, we use it in sort of, uh, if you spin that, it's got acacia backs and sides, Ooh. curly maple binding. This is the new Stage Pro from LR Bags, mm -hmm. which is a smaller footprint, low profile, and you don't have to fudge around for the battery. It's got an end pin load. So that's nice. And we came out with a with a bass, which with, with an armrest, which I'm sure lots of bass players will appreciate, and a baritone as well. Oh really? Uh, no, you, the baritone's been around before, hasn't it? Did not with an armrest in, oh, in, in, an arm in our normal artist series, yes. Yeah, that's here, yeah. It is, yeah. It is. That's Two a cool guitar. Yeah. The, you know what, as well, just visually, black front with a rosewood back, it looks, looks nice, fantastic. Isn't it? fantastic. Yeah. Like, way looks classier than all black, all black guitar. Yeah. So this one's got loads of attention here. It's, again, it's part of the new Artist series. We just mix things up a little bit more and brought out some new models. You're doing the black with a natural back on anything other than a 12 string? Uh, we weren't. We but we've been, but asked, we are now. Yeah, but we've okay. been asked several times <laughs> in this show, so we will make that in a 12 string. Nice, yes. nice. It just suits Rosewood, you know. We shouldn't forget the nylon strings. You've got quite some lineage, haven't you, in uh, or heritage we, in, we in have, nylons? We have, uh, we do quite quite a number of nylons. Are these this, more of a, and this is that's a, that's more a straight of a classical nylon. spec rather It is, and that's a hybrid with a slimmer yeah. nut, with a, uh, uh, a bevel and a flat fingerboard. I always, I always forget that there, there, there is a difference, isn't there, between what is a Spanish guitar and what is a classical guitar in terms of traditionally, it's like something either wood choice or neck width or whatever. There's like a, I know yeah, the hybrid yeah. is very much about getting a nut width that's more akin to a to steel, steel string, string player. Uh, but I, I do know that there are definitely two styles of nylon string that one lending itself to flamenco and one more for so, so, uh, classical. So a classical is, well first of all a flamenco is usually made of cypress, right. so it has a different sound and they, they're after a sound called... More percussive is it, sort of? And very toppy, because right. they hit it so hard, yeah. it's almost like a metallic sound, they call it like chris, crystal, yeah. crystal something. So, and I believe the, the action is set very high, so they're really right. digging into that. Yeah. And where these um, classical guitars are generally cedar, cedar rosewood, right. you know, and, and set up a bit different, like darker a soft, sound. softer sound, darker yeah. sound. It's so, always an education speaking to you, Chris. I hope so. You've learned, you, you've taught me a lot. Really? Yeah, in guitars, well, especially that's acoustic kind. guitars, yeah. So um, there's the eight string. So that's the eight string baritone. It's been around for a couple of years. This is so popular. I mean, it, again, you're sort of sitting there going, what, how, what does that even mean? So you've just got your two middle strings here with the octave on it. So your, your D and your G string have got the octave, baritone as well. So it's like massive sound. And it's this weird hybrid 12 string bassy. So it, what, it, what it does, it just lifts some treble frequencies. So you've got a, all that bass frequency going yeah. on and just adding two, um, two octaves just, just brightens up a little bit. That's an eight string normal guitar. Okay, so you don't have to have it with a baritone. Correct. You can just have normal. Yeah. And you do get a lot of 12 string shimmer by just adding yeah. two. And it means you don't have to widen the nut. It's much easier to play and tune. Yeah. And yeah. you get that sort of sort of similar sound. So um, we'll be coming to here, AD 60s, etc., etc., which are just, again, just great value. Yeah, I mean, again, those. Are you still in the 30 series or is it? We six? are. 
So 30 is the sort of the starter the price, yeah. isn't it? And then 60 60 is not much more though, is it? Another 50 quid or something like that. Nobody knows what yeah. I'm talking about when I talk about quids. Chris will know. English people, people, so in, people like, in the UK will know. Quid is very, so it's like calamari, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask you about this, even though we don't sell it in the UK, because for annoying licensing reasons, the Alvarez Yari thing is a US only thing, isn't it? You know, but, oh, the Americas. Oh, you do for it's no, North we, and South America. Yeah. Okay, but but tell me anyway, because I think although you're not allowed to use the Yari uh, name on everything else, you can still see the the influence. So that, that quick history. They bring. So Alvarez start with this icon which is on this headstock, and that's an AY for Alvarez Yairi. Started developing in 69, shipping in 70, and then when they opened, they went to Korea with a lower price point in the 80s, they developed this logo. Just Alvarez. Just Alvarez. Without so the, the AY stayed in Japan, yeah. okay. and then they developed another icon for the, for the more entry-level instruments. So that's why we have two icons. So it's been made in, in the Yairi factory since 1970, our guitars are very different to the K. Airy guitars. It's, it's, it's a different construction, etc., etc. So when we get to Tone Woods, Mr. Airy collected Tone Woods his whole life. It's like a mythical amount of wood there from like Honduran mahogany, which I found about six years ago. I found this under a tarpaulin of boards like eight feet long, <laughs> perfect boards that have been sitting there for 50 years. And we've been making these for about six. Four A out of one deck top. Hey, that looks stunning. Yes, lovely. I mean, I suppose we should, for people not familiar with this, these these are more like the money yeah. that you'd pay for an American-made uh, in Well, a four A out of one deck top with vintage mahogany, old drop mahogany backs yeah. and sides would be at least double that. Well, that's what it says, $3,400 is map, yeah. isn't it? So, I, no, I suppose you're right, yeah, because yeah. you're, you're, you're talking proper top-end stuff and that, here, That's, you? you know, I mean, that Adirondack like, is pretty like rare. Clear yeah. scratch plate. And that's the Rosewood version. And then, like another story last year, I'm in the factory, and the, there's like this room, it's like going into a record store, it's all like tops, and then you like move along, and you, you're, like, you're like sifting through the tops. I pulled this out, which is like a square piece of, and I said, what's that? It said, Redwood. And I said, like, that Redwood is so perfect, it must have come from a very old, very slow growing tree to have that tight a grain with a perfect quarter. And it's like, how long have you had this? I have a conversation, it's like maybe 30, 40 years, sitting there, never used, so we've only got about 150 redwood tops, but this thing sounds like it looks. It's got a very, like Adirondack and Sitka, these are more, they're, they're louder, arguably more powerful, but this has everything. It's all there. It's all like body is in the right place. And it sounds a bit more vintage sounding to me. And then, you know, this, this is all old growth Honduran mahogany, top, back and sides. Is that, have you put a tint on that or is that? Yeah, it's tint. It is, yeah. so it wouldn't be it's as lighter. red as that. It's lighter, yeah. yeah. And then we do a, uh, a parlor version. It's a bit grubby, sorry, being played. I mean, feel the weight of that. Oh my God, it doesn't weigh anything. Feel that. That's a cool shape. So we've revoiced this for this year, so these are new. So now we have like uh, different weight braces for different body body shapes, yep. so instead of just applying one X, one set of tone bars, they're all different now, which, are, well, which is like opened everything up. 
Anything else? Or yeah, I mean, there's you know more areas. That's a that's a wonderful OM. Again, it's a Honduran mahogany. The quality of the tops on these are ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Then we got a Sitka one with herringbone. So that pickguard is actually in the finish. It, it's not a clear pickguard, and they're kind of showing off. So they, put the, they put the pickguard and finish the lacquer. As over they the build top. in the lacquer a bit, they put it in. Yeah. Well, you're very lucky in uh, the lucky. Americas to be able to buy these. Yeah. Oh. Um, but, one, one day. Uh, one day, you one never day. know. We will bring one them day. to the fair shores of the United Kingdom. Hope so. Hope so. Thanks, Lovely man. to see you, man. Take Appreciate it easy. It. We will see you in another video soon.